Good evening guys, or day I should say. Uh, so I haven't seen any of these videos, so I'm going to do my little uh, size comparison. Um, and the looks of the black LG V10. Put them this way. And the black iPhone 6S Plus. I own the 6S Plus for about six months. And then uh, I loved it. I love the simplicity of it. I love the fingerprint scanner. Everything's working great on it. Awesome, awesome phone. However, uh, I did miss the Android customizability and a lot of the things that the specs and stuff, the cameras, the little gimmicks, I guess you could say, of, of uh, some of the Android devices. And this one actually uh, really intrigued me because, uh, as you can see, it has a second screen here, which I've actually used a lot, to be honest. I've owned this phone now for two weeks. Um, for the price that I got it for, I just had to had to get one, um, and it's it's been great. It's been uh, my daily driver now so far. I've had it here. Uh, I haven't really missed my iPhone other than like most of my family has iPhones, so they you know I can FaceTime them whenever I wanted to on my iPhone. I could iMessage, you know, I could always see who was writing back to me, and um, you know I could say, Hey Siri, Hey Siri. See, and she just comes right on and, and I could make a call just like that and of course you got your okay Google see you got it on here this is not as it's not as uh, I would say useful to me as the my Siri was but uh, it's got it's gotten the job done you know it's a little I, I've had my sister download the Viber app and that's how I communicate with her that's this app right here um, but anyways let's get to the size comparisons as you can see right here if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see really well but the LG V10 is just a bit taller just a tiny bit not by much it was a matter of fact if I put them right on top of the other I don't know if you guys can see that the focusing okay let's see but almost Man, I want to see it's about this exact same. I don't know. It's pretty, pretty close. Uh, the LG V10 is thicker. I'm not sure on the specs, but seems to be thicker with the rubber back. Of course, you got your removal back on 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 the LG V10, which I actually purchased with an extra battery, so I hardly ever charge it, which is another big plus. Uh, battery life is mediocre at best on a single battery, but because I get to charge it, it's it's been good. Um. These two phones, phenomenal. I mean, the iPhone, you, you just can't compete with the simplicity. And again, the LG V10 that has the widgets. I have all my widgets here like I used to have in my Note 5. And I'll be honest with you, I had the Note 5 on that for about three and a half months. I enjoyed it. Um, one of the things I will say as far as quality, uh, includes the Note 5, is the uh, front-facing camera on this device for Snapchat is not nearly as good quality as the iPhone. The iPhone, just there's something about the way they do their cameras. I'm not sure what it is, but it's a lot of clarity, a lot of uh, low light performance. It's much better on this front-facing camera than this one. They're both 5 megapixels. Uh, this one has two of them. But for Snapchat, you just get defaulted to one. You can't really change it for the wide angle. Because um, it has a wide angle. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has two cameras there. See? And one of them's wide angle, the other one's um, normal angle, I guess you could say. Uh, but it's been great. I love my LG V10. Um, for now, I'm going to keep it as my daily driver. I haven't really had any need to go back to iPhone. Um, I ran out of storage on this one, which is another reason why I got the LG V10, because of the expandability. I have a 64 gigabyte SD card plus the 64 gigabytes on store uh, on board. And this is a 64 gig 6 Plus. I used to own a 6, uh, a regular 6 Plus. This is a 6S Plus. I used to own a 6 Plus 128 gigabyte, and I got up to maybe, I want to say about 60 something gigs. So I had about 50 left. It only has 114 capacity, the 128 iPhone. Um, but of course, this one, you just, you know, I'm about, I'm, I'm actually in the process of buying a 128 gigabyte SD card. The 64 gig is just what it came with. I bought it off Swappa.com. My opinion is a lot safer than even eBay. They check ESNs and everything. Um, 
And yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions over the comparisons between these two phones, uh, I'm, I'm new to this, so I mean, I'll do whatever. If you guys want to know anything, speeds or whatever, let me know in the comments or share. Hit me up with that like. What's up, then? You guys have an amazing night. Be blessed.